Hi friends, this video series is going to be a complete course on SageMaker. SageMaker is a machine learning platform from Amazon AWS. In this series of videos, we are going to cover end-to-end -end machine learning lifecycle from data gathering, data cleaning, uh, data engineering, the training the machine learning models and deploy them, deploying the models in different modes as uh, endpoints, batch uh, inference and within endpoints we will see the serverless endpoints as well as multi-model endpoints right and then we will see uh, the pipelines where we sit, stitch together a number of uh, steps from data engineering to training the models uh, to post processing the results uh, etc. We are going to cover the full life cycle of ML ops and a number of uh, SageMaker uh, products such as Clarify, uh, which help us understand and interpret the ML models, and also Lineage, which will track uh, uh, the machine learning process, uh, the various steps we take to uh, uh, build the models, right? And this course is not only restricted to uh, the, uh, the SageMaker, we are going to learn the machine learning uh, use cases in general. For example, text processing, image processing, uh, the, the computer vision, object detection models, uh, image classification models, etc. And we are also going to see the jumpstart models from SageMaker. So SageMaker has took the libraries such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, Hugging Face, etc. and made them uh, easy for, for us to use in the form of these jumpstart models. We are going to cover those jumpstart models as well as we will cover the transfer learning uh, as well. Now SageMaker uh, is a very evolving uh, product. Uh, AWS keep uh, adding uh, new features to it on a regular basis. So as those new features get added, we will cover uh, those features also. Now we can, we can access SageMaker in three different ways. Uh, the first one is from our local env local uh, environments like Jupyter Notebooks, VS Code, etc. So for that, we need to have AWS access key and the secret. So what you can do is you go to the terminal and just uh, type AWS configure. Okay, then that will ask uh, uh, you to enter these four details. Uh, so get your access key and secret access key uh, from your AWS user account. Then uh, the default region, uh, whichever the region you are in, and then the default output format, uh, this is generally the JSON. So in the description below, I provide this link where you can find more details about how to configure this uh, uh, AWS credentials. Um, so in this course, uh, I will be uh, accessing the SageMaker, training the models, deploying them, etc. Everything from my local Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so that's one way of doing. Now the second way uh, is by going directly to the AWS console. So go to your AWS console. Uh, here you can search for SageMaker. Search for your SageMaker. And then under the notebook, you see notebook instances. So here I have already created two instances. Uh, but you can create a new notebook instance, give it a name, now choose an instance type. Now this don't have to be a big instance uh, because uh, here the actual model training is going to run on different instances, much larger instances. This instance just act as a base so that we can give the instructions uh, to the uh, the instance where we are actually training the models, right? So you don't have to choose a very big instance, uh, choose a moderate one like MLT3 medium, okay? And then here you have to give an IAM role which has the permissions to execute uh, the SageMaker, okay? And you can uh, leave these three as optional. Simply click on uh, create notebook instance. So that will create uh, a notebook instance like these. So here I have two instances. One is MLT2 large and MLT2 medium. And once you have created this instance, you can just choose the instance and click on start. It will take uh, 
sometimes a couple of minutes. So once the instance start, here you will see open Jupyter Notebook. So you just click on that and then uh, you will have your Jupyter Notebook just like you have in your local environment, right? And uh, whether we run any code or not, we will get charged as long as this instance is in uh, running mode, right? So it is important that you stop the instance once your work is done. So for example, let's say this instance is running and you want to turn it off. So again, choose the instance, this under actions, you will see stop, right? Uh, because it is grayed out because this instance is not in running mode, right? So don't forget to stop the instance. Don't delete the instance uh, because that will delete all your data, okay? All right, so that's the second mode. Uh, the notebook instance. So it's exactly similar uh, to how we use notebooks in our local environment, except that this notebook uh, is also running on one of the SageMaker EC2 instances. And the third mode is the studio. So you click here. Now again, I have studio profile. So that's why it is saying this uh, studio, but it will show you if you are doing it the first time, it will uh, uh, give you options to create the studio. Again, very straightforward setup. It will take you a couple of uh, a couple of minutes uh, to do the setup, and once you have done it, you can open a SageMaker, uh, sorry, Jupyter notebook from the SageMaker Studio as well. Now, uh, the notebook instance it does not have any additional features, whereas Studio has a number of additional features. Like we can see, it 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 is a complete IDE environment. We can see. Um, the pipelines, uh, the MLOps lifecycle related uh, functionality, etc. So we will so we will see uh, those uh, uh, functionality as well. We will be interacting with those pipelines, etc. Uh, when we get there, right? So for the time being, uh, simple Jupyter notebooks are enough to uh, start learning AWS SageMaker. Okay. Uh, yeah, so as I said, this is going to be a very long course and uh, AWS keep uh, adding new features to it and we will be covering a lot of uh, aspects, uh, the uh, new features, uh, etc. as they get uh, added to SageMaker. Uh, thank you very much. See you in the next lecture. Bye.